You see me with the getup? That means the Lions win again. Let's get over the video though. Oh, why, right, ladies and gentlemen, the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is the boy Troy Fella. Today's day is Monday, September the 30th. And I'll be honest here, I did not expect to come out with a video for you guys on Tuesday. But here we are because some important news dropped. Some important news fell on my lap. Yes, I did hit my lap. Ow, that kind of hurt. But let me present you guys with the news. Y'all remember about a certain in-person event that is happening in November and then a week later, everybody worldwide will experience this event? We all got news regarding that event, so let's not waste any time to jump on into it. Check this out. Even though it don't say here, but trainers, the route area 2024 is upon us. So this is more likely the last in-person event of the year. So we're gonna talk about the global version because what's going on in the global version rather will more will definitely happen in the in-person version. So the global version, remember, is on November the 23rd and the 24th. That's Saturday, Sunday, in the Fukuoka version, which is in Japan, by the way, is a week prior. We get more of that in a second. So it would be for 10 a.m. to 6:15 p.m. local time. So Let's just beat around the bus and go straight into it. Now, let's read this one paragraph. This one paragraph seems important. Trainers who purchase a Pokemon Go Rile Area Global ticket by October the 22nd and play Pokemon Go between October 15th and October the 22nd will receive time resources that awards early access to a themed avatar item, the Toxomax. Okay, there you go with that. So you can buy tickets. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll get more on that in a second. And yep, it is official. Toxicroak, Toxtricity, and Dynamax Toxtricity will make their Pokemon Go debut. This electric and poison type Go Wow area event features the global Pokemon Go debut of Toxtricity, the pump Pokemon. Trainers may even encounter shiny Toxtricity if they're lucky. So another scenario where a Pokemon is making its normal debut and its shiny debut. Now let's take a look at the event gameplay real quick. So. They talked about Toxtricity and Dynamax Toxtricity, so more than likely these may be in Dynamax Raids or Max Battles as they call it. So now check this out though, we get getting something else, the Mighty Pokemon. This year's Pokemon Go Rile area will have plenty of electric and poison type Pokemon, but that's not all. Trainers may also find themselves in encounters with unusually powerful opponents known as Mighty Pokemon. All Mighty Pokemon have some shared traits. More likely to have high attack, defense, and HP ratings, which is good, depending on what they are. More likely to be XL or Dub XLs, and more difficult to capture. Okay, so that's interesting. Trainers may even encounter shiny versions of these Mighty Pokemon if they're lucky. Use the new Go Safari Ball, so we're getting new Pokeballs, which is great. When trying to capture these Pokemon, will greatly improve your chance of success. So there you go with that. And then they talk about the new Pokeball. So, oh wait, look at this though. That second paragraph underneath that. All unused Gold Safari Balls will expire and disappear from your item bag at 6.15 p.m. local time each day of the event. So keep that in mind. And guess who's back, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, Origin for the Alga and Origin for Pacquiao will make their returns in the effects, uh, the adventure effects rather, will be back as well. So War Time and Spatial Man will be back as well, which is huge. And remember, both of these can be shiny. Both of these can be shiny. Now, we're gonna get more into the event themes in a second because we got Poison Hour and then we got Mighty Pokemon, but we can look at the Electric Hour. So, here, you can encounter Alone Geodude, Mandemite, Voltor, Hisuri Voltor, Electrobuzz, Electrite, Shinx, Blissel, Jotic, Tynamo, Stumpfist, and Helioptal. All those can be shiny, by the way. All 12 of those Pokemon can be shiny. We'll get more into the Poison Hour and the Mighty Pokemon in a second. Now let's take a look at the three star raids. It'll, on Saturday, it'll be Luxray and Scolipede. Both of those can be shiny, which is great because those are evolved Pokemon. And then Sunday is Venusaur and Electrifier which are also great because those are, well, Venusaur, okay, that's one thing. But Electrifier, that's actually shocking. So there you go with that. The following Pokemon will appear in max battles during Go Wild Area, Global. So there they are, Toxtricity, the Amp form, and the Low Key form, and both of those can be shiny as well. Now let's take a look at the bonuses and features. Lure module active will, or activated will last for two hours. Chance of receiving special background from four star and five star raid battles, so that's cool. 
Feel research theme about the different Pokemon habitats. One, what? Just, just what? That's interesting. One go snapshot surprise event encounter per day. Right when taking snapshots during the event, you never know who might show up. There's going to be feature attacks. Some Pokemon encounter or evolve during the event with no a feature attack. The new avatar item. You'll be able to get that T from the in-game shop starting November the 15th, 2024. So there you go with that. And then there's ticket holder exclusive. You can upgrade your round area global experience with a pay ticket to unlock additional rewards, bonuses, and more. So you get to choose your path. Because there's going to be a special research story. So you can either go the electric path or the poison tap and become a spirit trainer of your chosen type. You can purchase your tickets early by October 22nd. And then there's the, the match. We already talked about that. So we ain't going to get more into that. Now, if you got a ticket, here are these bonuses. Okay, now we're talking. Increase chance of encountering shiny Pokemon. Level up your elite collector medal by completing theme collection challenges. Double the catch candy. Half hatch distance from eggs placed in incubators during the event. Double hatch studs. Double hatch XP, double hatch ca uh, candy, excuse me, up to five raid passes per day by spending photo discs at gym. Should be like nine, in my opinion. 5,000 additional XP from completing raids, four additional candy XLs from Pokemon in four star, five star mega raids, ultra beast raids, and primal raids. Oh my gosh, yo. That's a wow, okay. I didn't expect all that. Up to six special trades can be made each day. Reduce dust cost for trades. And three gold snapshot surprise encounters per day when taking snapshots during the event. You never know who might show up. So that may be a grand total of four. I think that's still a bit too low. And the ticket costs $12 or whatever it is in your local currency. So there you go with that. And you cannot use Pokemon Coins to get this ticket. They are no refundable. And uh, you cannot award your friends with this ticket, apparently. That's how it's looking right now. So... There you go with that. They talk about how you get the ticket. You go to the web store to get the ticket. And then you can also push the ticket in the end game shop. And again, no word on gifting this ticket to your friends. So there you go with that. I don't know. All right. Let's move on to the raids. So we know about the Algorand Pocket. We'll be in five-star raids. We already talked about that. Four-star raids. We already talked about that. It'll be the Tautricity's Imp form and Loki form. And then let's look at the Mighty Pokemon. On Saturday, it will be Pidgeot, Golem. Give it those Lux Ray, Scolipede, Garvantula, Tyrantum, and Toxapex. And all of those can be shiny, even though they're all evolved for forms. They can all be shiny. And then check out Sunday. Venusaur, Polyrap, Dragonite, Feradigator, Electrify, Mamoswine, Electros, and Dragale. Or Dragale. Or Dragalge. How you pronounce that joint? And all of those can be shiny, even though they are all evolved forms. So that's pretty cool. Now, the Poison Hour. We already talked about the Electric Hour. Here's the Poison Hour. Bulbasaur, Bellsprout, Tentacool, Spinarat, Pardane Rupert, or Gala Rupert as I like to call it, Quillfish, Hasuian Quillfish, Skorupi, Kroger, Venipede, Scrap, and Marini. So, there you go with that. Now, that's it for the global version. Now we got to turn our attention to the Fukuoka version. So this is the one that happened a week prior. So this one happening is on November the 16th and the 17th in Fukuoka, Japan. So, there you go with that. And tickets will be available soon for this. So they talk about the Safari Ball that would be making it appear there. And to be more specific, it would be at, at Maizuru Park. So that's the location in Fukuoka, Japan. And then you got the morning park experience and the afternoon park experience. So let's take a look at this real quick. So the morning park experience, I don't see a time slot for... Okay, here we go. So first off, as of right now, they do it like an early bird sale where it would cost 3,100 yen. Normally, it would cost 3,600 yen. So, if you get the park experience, like the morning park experience, it will start from 8 a.m. to new Japan time. And then we got the city experience, and that will start from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Japan time. So, there you go with that. That's interesting. So, yeah. And then again, no refunds. You cannot use Poké Coins to get this. And I don't see anything about gifting this to your friends. Now... There could be scenario where you could, you could buy multiple tickets up to four like you could with a GoFest ticket. So that may be an option here as well. And with the uh, worldwide version as well. So there's that. Now let's move on to the next image. Assuming I can get to the next image. There it is right there. Okay. So there it is. There's my Zuru Park. Looking cool. Okay. That's fine. All right. Scroll down. Oh, the shirt. Yo, the shirt look nice. If I, I, I'm not going, but if I could get that shirt, that would be nice. That would be cool if I could get that shirt. 
And then they talk about the event features. You should see all this on the website, Explore for Coca. And I do want to go there, but uh, it won't be for this trip. Now, let's take a look at the event gameplay. So, obviously, we've got the Safari Ball right here. And let's see. Obviously, that going to be in there. The Toxtricities and Dynamax Toxtricities. Mighty Pokemon. So, there's that. Talk about Safari Ball. The, we talk about the Origin Form, Palkia, the Alga. And, of course, the Adventure Effects moves will be in the game as well. And then the special Pokemon will appear. Now, this is pretty much the same. I already look. Ledger, Poison, Mighty Pokemon, they are all the same. And then the four-star raids are all the same. So, there's that. And then there's other features. So, let's take a look at increased chance of encountering shiny Pokemon. There's Cholesterol Chachit. And Gold Snapshots as well. Now, the bonuses, let's take a look real quick. And the bonuses are different. Increased chance... Of encountering shiny Pokemon, half hatch distance for eggs placing incubators during the event. Lure module will last for two hours, and then here's where things become different. Special 10, I think. Special 10 kilometer eggs, I could be wrong on that. Now, no, here's where things really be different. Up to nine total ray patches from spinning photo discs at gyms, double catch candy, and then attendees will receive the following bonuses and rewards between midnight and 11.59 p.m. local time anywhere in Fukuoka on their ticket today and during their city ride gameplay add on day. Up to six special trades can be made on your ticket today, no matter where you are in Fukuoka. Reduce dust cost for the trades. So there's that. And then they talk about the atoms, which we'll get to in a second. And then there's the ticket price. We already talked about that already. Okay, so now let's move on to the next thing, which would be, again, with the ticket price and the add-ons. So Ray Lover would call 1900 yen, where you would get 18 free Ray passes do it per day by spending photo this at gyms. 5,000 additional XP awarded for completed raids, 6 additional candy for catching Pokemon in 4 star, 5 star, and Mega Raids, 3 additional candy XLs for catching Pokemon in 4 star, 5 star, and Mega Raids, trade 11, 31, and up. And then we got the enthusiastic add on. Again, 1900 yen, where you get 1 fourth egg has distance, which does not stack with the other similar bonus, you know, the half egg has distance, that, that don't stack. Triple hatch XP, triple hatch candy, triple hatch dust. So there you go with that. City Ride Gameplay would cost 2,600 yen per day. So there's that. Extend your go route area fun and enjoy the city experience throughout Fukuoka for an extra day. This add-on provides an additional day of the same City Ride Gameplay experience that is available on your primary event day, including additional time research, which awards gold safari balls. It does not include additional special research. So there's that. And you get a TSA pre-order that would cost 3,700 yen. So there's that. And I believe that's everything on that page. And I believe that's everything all together. So I'm going to just say it here. Please be aware of surroundings, blah, blah, blah. Sign the Pokemon Go team. So there you have it. That's all the news for the Raw X area, rather. So as it stands right now, I'm not going to the Fukuoka joint. Because if I'm going to Japan, I'm staying there for two weeks. And I don't have enough days off from work to do that this year. So... That's why I'm more like I'm not be going. But if I'm able to sneak out there for a weekend, I don't know. We'll see. I doubt it though because that requires money, and I'm trying to build up for next year. And a plane ride over there is expensive. It's, it's like the most expensive thing about Japan. So if you wish this part of the video, leave in the comment section below. Wild. If you wish this part, leave in the comment section below. Wild. And at the very end, you see two videos. One of them will be the last video that I put out, which was Monday. And the other one will be something that YouTube recommends. So make sure to check out both of those videos. I'm going to call it a wrap now. So with all that said, y'all know this is. This is my new Jack Aspie, a.k.a. new Stephen A. Smith. Saying peace out, y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. And the Lions win again. Take care. <laughs> Thanks, man. Do it. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint with my tongue. I done things that people said I can't. Now they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm a hit and move away.